Hi and welcome back to another video here on the Netgear Nighthawk R7000. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade from the custom Netgear Genie firmware to Advanced Tomato. Same would work for DD Works. Let me know if you want me to do that in a video. But for today we're just going to show you how to do it to Advanced Tomato. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you get access to your router. As you can see here, I'm logged into mine. We need to go to this URL and I'll put it in the link in the description below. And we need to download this initial firmware here and also you need to pick which one you would prefer out of these two now the AIO is all in one that includes everything but today I'm just going to install the VPN one and put my configuration back onto it because that's the one I've been using if you're not sure what you want I'd probably go with the AIO but they work exactly the same you need to download this firmware and I'm going to get the VPN one then what we need to do we need to be logged into your router so the default would be 192.168.1.1 default login is admin password you may have changed this if you can't get into your router, there's a little pin on the back that says factory reset. Hold it down to 10 seconds. It'll reset your router to default and those password credentials will work. So admin for the user lowercase and password lowercase for the password. Okay, so once you're logged into your router, we need to go onto the advanced tab at the top here. And we need to go to administration and we need to go router upgrade. If you do need to back up any of your settings here, you can go to backup settings and click backup here and it'll save a copy of those for you. If you need to put it back onto Network Genie. Today we need to go router upgrade, we need to browse for that one. And you need to go for this initial one first. This is the one you have to do. Do not go for the VPN one first. Go for the initial one. Okay, that. Click upload. So during this period, the internet will be offline. Click yes. So no one will be able to use the internet. It'll be off for about two minutes until it reboots onto the new firmware. So we need to do this version first. So do not turn it off at this point in time. Leave it doing what it's doing or as it will crash and your boot potential to brick your router, so do not turn it off, just leave it as it is. Don't close your browser window or anything. So when it's finished, it should give you this page, basically telling you it's not accessible. So once it's redone, it'll automatically log you in. Make sure you go back to 192.168.1.1. Go to Advanced, we need to go to um, Upgrade here at the bottom. We need to Browse, and you need to pick the version that you're going to upgrade it to. So we've already done the initial, so now we're going for VPN, or it'll be the AIO all-in-one version. Click Open. Click upgrade and then click OK. Again, during this point in time, do not close the browser, do not turn off the router, do not do anything or you've got potential again to brick it. Wait for this process to finish. Once it's installed the VPN version or AIO, you should now be presented with this screen here. As you can see here, I've got no devices. If you've done this before, you need to restore your backup and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But if you haven't, then you need to now go ahead and configure the router. If you've got a backup, you need to go to administration. You need to go to configuration. And you see here backup, we need to restore the configuration. We go to browse. This will be my configuration file. I'll put a link in the description on how to do this. And click restore. So thanks for watching this video. If you want me to do anything else, so any other videos like for doing VLANing or firewall settings or setting up an open VPN server, let me know in the description and I'll take a look. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you all again and I'll show you the configuration page when it's finished here with the with my custom settings. Catch you later. Bye bye. So we've got VPN server up. Some basic port forwarding. Restore the configuration.